Hello everybody, it's Rick Starr with Dusty Tales, and we have another how-to video, how to check your engine code on your Harley Davidson. But the other day, my um, check engine like turned on and then turned off and turned on all the way down a 45 mile uh, drive on the freeway. I didn't feel anything wrong with my bike, so I kept on going. And since it didn't stay on permanently, I didn't stop. So, <clears throat> I'm here at home, and the light came on again, so I'm gonna check the check engine light. And here's, this is how you do it. First you make sure your switch is on the run. You hold the trip meter in, and then you turn the ignition. And as you can see, it does a diagnostic of your system, shows you all the lights that, that are available for your bike. You let go of the, the button, and you press it again, and you get this thing that says, Psst. Oh, as you can see, the, the P is flashing. I think that's for the power systems. And then you go to the next category, it would be S. SP so when it's flashing you hold the button down and it gives you the this one has a code right away P0563 push it again and give you the next code okay you don't have another code all right so you press it again until it comes back to this menu then if you press it quickly you go to the next um, category. You hold it. No error codes on that one. Push again. Push it one more time, and you're back to the code. Push it quickly, and you go to the SP. You hold it. No codes there. And you go to the last one. You hold it. Apparently, my bike is not equipped for whatever that is. All right. And that's how you check it. And of course, uh, you can just turn that off and you're done. Now, remember, keep those codes because that's the code that if you accidentally clear one, I'm not going to show you how to clear it. The dealership or whoever you take it to will do so. But that code would tell them what, what the, pro the problem with the bike and get it repaired. So it comes up high voltage. All right. So um, checking a couple of forums and such, it has to do with the electrical system coming from the battery. So I'm going to look at the battery. I'm going to check these two cables out. It's 10 millimeter. Get it out. Okay, I hooked up my battery charger. It's gonna run a diagnostics. It says battery fully charged. So obviously, it's not the battery. I think oxidation was the problem. Because I cleaned up all the terminals, put the wires back together, and I haven't gotten the code anymore. I hope this video was helpful. This is Rick Gonzalez with Dusty Tales. And get out and ride.